777. Ángel, tú deberías de estar en la cama. No, Ángel, no. A esto hay que tenerle más miedo que admiración. Dime, ¿tú qué ves? Something that makes the weak strong and the strong weak. Esta es la última opción. Y cuando la usas, estás perdido. Calme. Esta vida no es para ti. Why not, Papa? My little Rose. Yo quiero que tengas una vida feliz. Yo no quiero que tengas una vida mala mía. What about power? I hear you and Rico's dad talk about that. Lucio, el poder te hace frágil, te hace ser objetivo. Y cuando eres objetivo, eres frágil. You're not weak, Papa. You're the strongest man I know. La fuerza no dura toda la vida. Ahora vete a casa. Ustedes deberían de venir más a menudo a España, ¿verdad? al menos para que los niños puedan jugar juntos. Es un largo viaje, hermano, de Spain. La empresa mantiene busy. Creo que es por eso que lo llamamos a business. Pero no quiero perder tu cumpleaños de 60 años, Fernando Antonio. What did you speak Spanish? For I understand all, man, but I speak like shit. <laughs> as soon as I'm making mucho dinero, it's all good, man. Uh -huh. This Antonio is from Rafaelo. Antonio. Your daughter is going to be next. You're very lucky. We would have killed her in front of you and your wife. But we haven't found her yet. <laughs> Leave no one alive. Come on. 
wants to come out, wherever you are, little bitch. I thought I finished you out. Mommy! Ah, oh, there you are. We've been looking for you. Please, please don't hurt my cousin. Hurt me instead. <laughs> Look at her. It's kind of hard to. So, what happens to her now? After that bloodbath, she'll be remanded to some juvenile facility. For how long? But she's got no relatives left. They all died in that house. Yeah. It's like some low-life Mexican cartel hitman who's got underground. And a cousin Rico. Don't worry about that kid. He's American. He's being shipped back to the States. He's their problem now. It just sounds to me like she's been punished for defending herself. Yeah. Did you see that carnage? Yes, I did. Their self-defense, that was something else. Did you see the bodies? Yes, I did. I did. It was a freaking slaughterhouse. Besides, her father's a mobster, a killer. Perhaps it just runs in the family. No, she's just a child. So what do I do? She goes into the system? Yeah, into the system. of comfort that can take away your sadness. Or bring back your loss. Everyone is talking about you. Rafael Vasquez. Merci. I 
<laughs> you like guns? What do you think? <laughs> Very interesting young girl. Take care of yourself, Angel. What did you want? He want more ice cream. <laughs> it's okay. You get him more fucking ice cream. It's all right. Rodrigo, you want ice cream? You have ice cream. <laughs> up against me. <laughs> okay, so check in with your parole officer on a regular basis. The terms of your parole is that you are not allowed to leave this province for a minimum probationary period of one year. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Good luck, Angel. Don't let me see you here again. your favorite cousin. Call me back. I'm out. And I'm coming to L.A. Do you do bullets? Bullets? Yeah. Little cute ones. Sure. I'll be back every once in a while for you to add a bullet or two. Sure. They represent anything? Sure. All the people I'm going to send love letters to. Hey, 
no smoking gear. Hey, guy, you know your owner? He owes me 15K. You want to pay for that shit? My God. Fuck that. <laughs> Hey, my little prima. I missed you. Come oh, on, Angel. It's good to see you, baby. Call me Angel again. I put your right eye out. As sweet as ever, my little rattlesnake. La Correco, my little matador. Anyway, this is a celebration. Oh, yeah? A celebration for what? We are both out at the same time. <laughs> Prison. I've had my share, but I'm never going back. Never. That's what you said the last two times. <laughs> ah, it's like fire to the throat, but it's better than prison wine. We gotta get out of this small time shit. We gotta stop the poverty mentality. Yeah, we gotta get out of those gangs. But what's Eduardo gonna think about that? It's gonna kill you. But not today. Boss, how you doing, boss? I'm sorry to disturb your daily meeting. Chino? Boys? Nina? Look, boss, I, uh, I need a big favor. I got some business in Europe. I want out of the club. You want out? You want out? Well, Rico, there is two ways out of this club. It's either cash, or this is gonna be your way out. What's that bitch? I don't like either one of these choices, boss. Can we negotiate something else? Out of dance. One of the watch. Hold on. what cousins are for. Well, fucking call him. him. This is my guy.
Hello? Santa Rosa gang. I'm not afraid of those motherfuckers. I'll knock the shit out of them. So, we're independent contractors now, huh? And partners. And partners. That's right. No more sharing a home with lazy ass crime bosses. What we steal, we keep. Every damn cent of it. Speaking of money, how you rolling these days? Spent just about everything on a plane ticket here. What about you? <laughs> I got about five grand. That's it. Now we need a score. A big score. I'm done with this little small time street shit. I want to go big. I want to get out of LA, go back to Europe. I miss Europe. Europe's home? Ideas? A lot more dangerous. What? The best people to rob? Criminals. Robbing criminals is a lot easier. It's not like they can say, uh, hey, Mr. Policeman, somebody, somebody took my heroin shipment. <laughs> not exactly the healthiest thing to do. That's right, not healthy. But you know what? It's the quickest way to retirement, if you got the balls. I'm in. I'd rob the devil himself if I don't have to bow and scrap to anybody for the rest of my life. Agreed. Why not kill two birds with one stone? How do you mean? It's time to talk about Rafael. Who? You heard this name, same as I did. That night. Don't even try to tell me you haven't thought about that name every single day since. What if I did? Do you know, he visited me right before I was sent to juvie? Didn't think I knew who he was. But I did. Motherfucker Raphael. He thinks he's some big shot. International, big guy, big boss, L.A. to Spain. Thinks he's untouchable. Yeah, Raphael, he thinks he's bulletproof. Got all the scops in his pocket. Busted. Nobody even looks in his direction. Yeah, nobody mentions his name except for the cartels. He's the big, biggest of the big. Kid, our parents 
killed your father because he was standing in his way in LA and killed my father because he was standing in his way in Spain. Rafael was mine. Fuck you. He's mine. I'll never forget. Yeah. Rafael even bought my parents' villa. He lives in the very same place he had them killed. Probably he got a discount on account of all blood stains. We need a blaster. My uncle in deal. My uncle is a bad ass motherfucker. What are you looking for? Indio, Aztec. Well, guess what? I don't know you. But I don't know you, but I know him. What the fuck? Hey. Que chingo quiere? Hey, uh, I'm Rico, man. I got, I got your sombrina. Your niece, she's right here. <laughs> Tío. <laughs> you didn't get me killed. <laughs> Why did you say so? <laughs> She's always set me up, Theo. <laughs> come on, come on inside. Thanks a lot. Take that one, too. My angel. He gets to call you angel, huh? <laughs> Thank you, Theo. I had no idea you were out until Rico told me. Not just out, mijita. I'm free. How? Listen, I've done a lot of bad things in my life. I guess you could have called me a hitman. People nicknamed me El Indio, the Aztec, because I was so vicious. And the police knew it too. They could never pin anything on me. So they framed me for a murder. You rap bastards. I was in my cell for a long time, sitting on death row, thinking, what is this? this is it? This is where my story of my life ends? To pass the time, I would think about what I would do if I could do it all over again. The idea of a famous L.A. taqueria <laughs> hit me like a bolt of lightning. People go mad on death row. People go mad in solitary. My imaginary taqueria kept me from going insane. A week before my execution, one of those innocent programs re-examined the DNA found at the murder scene, found out it wasn't mine, and that was the state's whole case. That's incredible. No, Mita, that's redemption. God saw my dream, and he knew he wanted to give me a pass. Indio, me and Pistolera, we got something going on. We are wondering if you want to be a part of it. What? We are planning on hitting Rafael. We hit it up. <sighs> Revenge is a dark path. The further you go, the darker you get. You think I haven't thought about settling the score with Rafaelo for what he did to my sister, to Antonio, to your parents? Why didn't you? What good would it do me? It wouldn't bring him back. Listen to me. I've dropped a lot of bodies in my time. I deserve to be on death row. But since God smiled on me, I don't want to put frowns on people's faces anymore. I want to put smiles and keep them there, not wipe them off. Taco business? That good? 
I got every kind of taco in here known to mankind. I even got a tofu taco. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's too much. Man, but I hate them fucking vegans. They drive me nuts. <laughs> hey, the people that are trying to gentrify the neighborhood, they love coming down here getting a taco or two or a dozen. <laughs> I'm happy for you, Tio. I truly am. Salud. Salud. Sure. <laughs> Salud. Hell yeah, yeah. To talk football. Good. <laughs> Come down. Come down. Give me a cigarette. Hi, Cherry. You gotta stop being so jumpy. Gonna get some blood pressure or something. Or something. You, what the fuck is this? You didn't say nothing about meeting nobody else. I don't meet with nobody, I don't know. I told you that pistol. Calm, the Calm fuck down. down. Relax already. Fuck. This is my cousin Rico. <laughs> now you know him. Mm. Rico, this is Cherry. What kind of name is Rico? What kind of name is Cherry? My quick home mom named me Therese. I like Cherry better. <laughs> you too. <laughs> Doesn't look like the apple falls far from the tree. You got her characteristics, huh? I ain't no crackhead. Oxy is my thing, and I got it under control. Mm, I see. Speaking of which, you got my money? Depends. On what? Depends. You got my intel? Got it. Is it all there? It's all there, baby. Calm down, baby. Calm down. All right. You're in for any good? Yeah. He's got a ship, man, going down. Who's he? Who's he? You know who he is? You know? Yes, I just wanted to hear it. Fine. It's Raffaello. The reason he's never been busted in all the years he's been operating is because of one simple rule he has. The money and the drugs are never in the same place at the same time. What do you mean? A representative receives the money on one end. A representative hands up the drugs somewhere else in Spain. Smart. Of course it is. How does he know someone wouldn't burn him on one end or the other? Because he's Rafael of that. Only no one guy that double-crossed him and what happened to that guy became a near mythic cautionary tale for all the rest of us. So who is that guy? This guy, Jerry, was his work on one end to collect the money. A higher lawyer, found on the beach and all that. Only what Raffaello didn't know was that Jerry had a gambling problem and debts he couldn't pay. So Jerry has one of his knucklehead buddies, a guy named Kev, robbed him. How the fuck would he know that? He didn't, not at first, but Jerry, really bastard that he was, double crossed his buddy, gave Kev a third, and he had promised him head. So let me guess, Kev ratted out Jerry to Raffaello? Looking for a reward? Yeah, he was an Einstein. So not only does Kev not get a reward, but Rafael makes an example out of him, tortures the poor bastard all to hell, then kills him. But it's what Rafael does with the pieces of Kev that makes this story so interesting. <laughs> Which is? As you may have guessed, Cherry is in the win at this point. He took the money and vanished, hiding out in the most remote regions of the four corners of the earth he could find. But everywhere Jerry went, Costa Rica, Portugal, Iceland, even Vietnam at one point, pieces of care would show up. What do you mean, pieces of care? Everywhere this schmuck Jerry went, a package showed up on his doorstep. Each package had a piece of care in it, a near, a eyeball, a testicle, a finger, I know. 
Finally, when Jerry had hit in every single place he could even imagine hiding, only to find a package on his doorstep, Jerry gave up. He moved back to his condo in Barcelona. And why the fuck would he do that? <laughs> the knowledge that no matter where he went, Rafaelo would find him, combined with the thought of what Rafaelo would do to him if he did that to poor old death, made Jerry give up. The anticipation of what Rafaelo was going to do to him was more than Jerry could take. So what finally happened? Jerry was home for two weeks and not a single package came. But by that point, Jerry was a mental, emotional and physical wreck. He just wanted Rafaelo to kill him and for it to be over. Yeah, that what happened? One night, Rafaelo showed up alone at Jerry's with a fine bottle of brandy. They drank and relieved all the good times they had before Jerry stole from him. Then Rafaelo left. He left? Yeah, he left. But the next day, cops showed up and arrested Jerry for possession of drugs with intent to sell. Seems Rafaelo had a large quantity of drugs planted in Jerry's house. Mm. Rafaelo used his influence to get Jerry sent to a prison where Rafael's voice there makes Jerry's life a living hell. Everything from rape to some real medieval sadistic shit. <laughs> and Jerry tries to commit suicide, but Rafaelo's boys are always watching and they always save him. Also, they can torture the poor bastard for the rest of his life. <laughs> he's still alive? Yeah, he's still alive. <laughs> This Rafaelo really holds a grudge. So, uh, who's Rafaelo's new guy? Big time bail bondsman. Down to Troy. Got the boss up. Yeah, I've seen his signs everywhere. Now give me my money. And remember, you never talk to me, okay? Never. Yeah, maybe on a date. Yeah. <laughs> fucking crazy bitch, man. Can you trust a little junkie? I trust a junkie. How the fuck do you trust a junkie? Have you ever met somebody you trust a fuck? If she's a fucking snitch on him, she's gonna be a fucking snitch on us. Why don't you listen to your primo? I'm older than you by three months. You ought to fucking listen to me sometimes. That's your guy, man. Phoenix to cat. Never gets caught again. Don't worry, it's all there. Oh, I'm not worried. As a matter of fact, worrying's for suckers. Whoa, whoa, wait. Wait. What kind of half-assed desperados are you? Do you know whose money that is? Yeah, ours. Your security's not so secure, is it? Well, it doesn't have to be, does it? Only a maniac would steal from... Raffaello, we know who this used to belong to. Yeah, it belongs to us now. Now, all we need to know is who did with Raffaello on the other end. Fuck you. He'd cut my heart out and feed it to me. He ain't here. Yeah, we are. <sighs> Tell us. Sure. Sure. Info's not going to help you anyway. His name's Henry Gajardo. I know of him. High level, low life. Didn't know he was connected to Raffaello. Well, can I go now, anyway? Sure, sure, you can go. <laughs> I didn't see your faces. Oh, darling. The bandanas were just for effect. Saw it in a movie once. We want you to see our faces. Enough to do that. You fucking piece of shit. Look at you now. Spend it fast. You're not gonna enjoy the fruits of your labor for very long. I know, but I hate Bell Bondsman. You're the lowest scum in here, preying on poor people when they're hurting. I'm just a businessman. Yeah, this ain't business for us. This is personal. I fucking hate Bell Bondsman. They're the worst slime on the fucking earth. They should all die. Hey, just get the fuck out of here! Go! Can you drive that fucking boat? Fuck no. Good time to learn it. Go! Let's go! Hey! I'm not
Cigar is dry, I'm alright. <laughs> when he finds out about Dante, he's gonna know someone's on his ass. Fucking right. Raffaello can lose sleep for once. I'd love to see Raffaello's face when they tell him it was ripped up. There's a lot of money in here, but he's not gonna give a fuck, he's filthy rich. Fucking right. Sir. Thank you, Esther. Man and a woman. Throat, stomach. Now, this was uh, more than just the money. Personal. Personal? They didn't have to shoot Dante. He was unarmed. This was to get my attention. Okay? This was to send a message to me. This was a venganza. Against you? No, against Vladimir Putin. Of course against me, you dumb fuck. I want you to dig into a man. Find out if there's another white bread piece of shit stirring up trouble, like this Jerry Van Buren. Someone who wants to take me out hates me so much, they're willing to die in the bargain. This is a very dangerous puta madre. Our old stomping ground. <laughs> the meat coat show. So, uh, why don't we get to get jobs here? We got money, I don't understand. Yeah, and as soon as we start splashing it, Rafaela's people will be all over us. As it is, they will be on to us soon enough. Anyway, what's the deal with this place? Raffaello's son owns it. You didn't tell me Raffaella had a son. Why didn't you tell me before? It's not the type of place you could just apply without references. But I have an idea. Yeah, better be good. a chunky little kid with a sweet tooth. Who's the hunk at the bar? That's Rodrigo. That's Rodrigo? Looks like he joined the gym. Uh, a couple of dark beers. Chill. Come on right up. Thank you. That's right. 
myself I owe some. For sure. Remember when I said he visited me right before I was sent to Judy? He had his son with him. Wasn't worried about being seen with him around me. I was a little kid, and nobody had offered. I was getting ready to go in the system for the next six years. He was so arrogant. He never came out said what he did to my parents. That's a gleam in his eyes. Said it all. The son of a bitch, what he did to kids. best if no one knew he had a kid. Took me a while to track him. He has a different last name and all. But it's true. He's Raphael's son. He owns this place. Laundering money from his daddy's criminal enterprises. Any job for me? What can you do? Sing and dance. Lady. Go. Do you have any flamenco clothes for me in the back? Oh, yeah. Thanks. Give me a minute. I don't understand your shit. Sure, my friend. Just don't hurt anybody. That was a fucking stupid mistake, man. You shouldn't do that. I was just gonna smack you around. But now I'm gonna have to kill you. Shouldn't do that, my friend. Why? My father is Raffaello. <laughs> Raffaello. You think my mother's a fucking pop? Sit your asses down! Swear that puta! I don't think Honey? What is a man without bullets?
us to hit the place and I'm firing you no please I want to thank you thank you some other time me and my cousin uh... Angel I mean, my cousin Angel, uh, we're a little bit, uh, uh, let's just say the cops don't like us too much. <laughs> How can I pay you back? Do you have any jobs for us? Wait until you see my other place. So let me know when you want a private audition. How the fuck long does it take to cook a fucking steak? 45 minutes waiting for a fucking steak. And there's no fucking salad dressing, nothing. That's that. One, one night off, the whole place turns to shit. They give us this plant. Papa, what's just a shakedown? Some pants with guns. Bullshit. Nah, what's just for the money? Rodrigo. I kept you from the fucking business your whole life, okay? I can give you my name to protect you. There's a lot of people that have uh, been guns for me, okay? I'm gonna put some guys with you. They're gonna stay with you, okay? Let them stay with you, even if you're fucking some bitch. Outside the room, inside, I don't care. They stay with you, you understand? I understand. I understand. I didn't know tattoo artists made house calls. Anything for pistolero? Teresa's is my girl. By the way, pistolera, your cuss is cute. She's racking up those bullets. Only the beginning. There, call me when you need more lead. <laughs> you know it, girl. It's uh, you ready for tonight? I've been getting ready for this my whole life. Now just don't fuck it up with revenge. Remember, we gotta play it real cold until the end. And you know, don't count your winnings until we're free and clear. Don't worry, Rico. I'm good at being ice cold. Story of my whole life. Hey, what the hell is going on? Come on, get me, little bitch. Get the fuck out of here, go! Oh, there you are. Please don't hurt my cousin. Hurt me instead. <laughs> says she knows who hit on you. You believe her? Yeah. Send her in.
Pick up the cigarette. Pick it up. No. I want the bitch to pick it up. Pick up the fucking cigarette. What's your name? Cherry. Cherry? Yeah. <laughs> Where's the fucking whipped cream? <laughs> My mom told me I have rosy cheeks. What is it you want to tell me? Have something to share with me? I know who hit your people and stole your back money. I'm a businessman. I'll tell you what I know for 5,000. Okay, tell me who he is. Give me my money. Show me who he Okay. I will tell you. Okay. I will tell you. Okay. I will tell you. Let go, let go, let go. Calm down. Calm my feet. Calm my feet. Calm down. Calm down. I have a little baby. You little fucking junkie. Give me my money. Shut up. You stupid bitch. Okay, all right. Okay. Give me my money. All right. I need the money. Okay. Okay. You're gonna get your money. Show me what you have. Okay. Okay. I need money. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Martin, kill this little bitch. Nah, you double dip. In the old days, when I was young, there was fucking loyalty. Now everybody's a fucking whore. Kill the bitch. <laughs> Martin, <laughs> look, uh, don't kill the girl, okay? Just uh, give her $10,000 and her away. All right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Mm. So this is who it is. I should have killed you fucking years ago. I told you not to come like that. I'm almost out. Save. Time won't pull us the blast. Motherfucker! Not over yet. We are playing this out. There's a There's a guy in the boat. Get up! Get a blast! Blast him, motherfucker! Whatever he paid you, it wasn't enough. Bon voyage. that your life flashes right before you, before you die. <laughs> Stop talking like that. I believe it. Shit, it's on fire! Fuck, get out! Fuck. Get out, it's gonna blow! Business. 
Oh, yeah. I got a couple of homeboys watching the place for me. <laughs> Figured you guys might need some help. My father had one like this. <laughs> Who do you think taught him how to use it? Watch out! Go! Grenade! Get the fuck off! Gotta go to a doctor. I don't need a doctor, it's a flesh wound. Hey, you're out of metal metal here, huh? I think I heard that somewhere before. Get the fuck out, let's go back to the car. Fuck, man. I gotta, I don't need a fucking doctor. I need a fucking witch. Why Raffaello never came after you, India? Even when I was on death row. I was still under the protection of the cartel. Rafaelo managed to get a message to me anyway, through a guard. You guys would have been dead. What a bastard. Ah, shit. Chin down, man. I don't even get any whiskey with this shit, you know? <laughs> Who would have known a hair salon lady so good at this shit, huh? Andreas, the registered nurse. You don't look like no nurse to me. Then Judge Noble's by its cover. I guess I'll keep that in mind, huh? Amen. Ah. So what now? Payback. I'm with you on that. I got another clip. <laughs> Figured you for a lot of things, Cherry. But I ain't figured you for a rat. Ain't like that, Pistolera. Ain't like that! Worse it? Please! What is that? What is that? She's my lady little girl! Don't kill her, please don't kill her. Please, my little girl. Don't kill her, please don't kill her. Please, please, please. <laughs> Si te cambias, te pones un vestido, te lo enseñas a mis invitados, lo guapa que eres. Yes, papá. 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 My little Rose. Yo quiero que tengas una vida feliz. Yo no quiero que tengas una vida mala. Mi amor, no me necesitas más? No, mi amor. The next dance is a private dance. I have all my music on a CD. Can you play it for me? Vale. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. La 
venganza. La venganza. That looks like uh, a perfect 10. What do you think, Indio? Hey, leave something for me. You're taking my job. What is this? You know what? I don't know what they call this in Spain, but if you were in Los, we'd call it a kidnapping. Don't worry, she won't be a problem anymore. Your father killed my family. I should take your life. But I got a corazón. Just give my uncle a helping hand. Thank <laughs> you. 
Remember me, bitch? It's a cheap fly from LA to Spain. You waste your time, puto. Come on, bring it. Oh. Come on, boy. Come on, puto. And now let it fly. You should have stayed at home. No, I don't think so. Come on. Come on, Puta. Are you tired? Father's number, and I want it now. I want to blow your fucking brains out all over your little pussy friend. Give him the number. What are you waiting for? Give him the number. Go, go, 
go, go, go, move. Get the fuck away! Gracias. Gracias. Okay, what the fuck is so important you're gonna bother me with? Boss, someone left this on the doorstep. Put it down. Martin, give me the pictures that fucking junkie left to us. Now. Come alone. That makes the two of us. I know your cousin is around here somewhere. Good guess. Where is my son? This is just business, right? No. La venganza. Rafaelo, all your men are dead. Oh, and your snipers, too. You want to hear some truth? Do you think her father? Her father was a fucking crooked bastard. Okay, I was loyal to him. 
okay? He killed my father. He killed my mother. This is what happened. That's the truth, all right, Pistolera? But this whole Venganza shit is fucking ancient fucking history. My son is fucking innocent. Kill me. But where's my son? Too late for the truth. Too late. Mentirosa! Bullshit! He was a crooked fucking heel de puta. Stop it! Cut him loose! I should have fucking killed you when you were a little piece of shit girl playing with fucking crayons. Now you can have him back. Parents die. They made my father watch how they killed my mother, me, madre. But this was never about business. This is for me, familia. You have a pretty boy. There's a graveyard out back. Go and bury your only son. <laughs> 